Okay, guys. Sorry, got cut off. Let's go ahead and continue painting. So we'll do. We'll finish up this one, and then I'll let you guys do a couple. Okay. So again, we've got our our basic structure, and then now what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna. I'm going to. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we've got our basic structure here, right? I'm gonna move this closer to. Oh, I know what I can do. I can go to my reference. I'm going to mask off just this one. Okay. So let me just move that over here so I can see it better. Okay. So I've got my reference right here. And this is what I'm trying to make it. This, i got my structured face here. And now I'm going to try to make this lighting match that lighting. Okay. Okay. So. I grab my brush and I'm going to go ahead and knock out the left side of his face because the most of his left side of his face is all black. Okay, so that means I need to paint in all of this mostly black. See that? And then his chin actually has a couple highlights on it. Okay, and then underneath his lips, the shadow creeps in underneath his lips, and then the top of his nose, if you look at it, it kind of goes back. Zigs back, zigzags back and forth a little bit. Okay. But all of this is black. And then there's this diagonal. All of this is black. And uh, see this shadow? It goes all the way to his brow line. So this is his brow line. And then all of this is black. Okay. Now there is the shadow floods in to the top of his cheekbone. This is the top of his cheekbone right here. Okay, but then his the bottom of his eyelid has a little bit, and the top of his eyelid has a little bit of light. Okay, actually his eyeball too has a little bit of light in it, but we're gonna disregard that for now. Okay. And then the shadow cuts across the left side of his eye, so it kind of cuts across here, and goes underneath his nose a little bit. So I've got too much shadow, I'm losing too much of my highlight, so what I'll do is I'll just go back with white. You won't be able to do this if you're working in pen or pencil, so you might have to be more careful. So I'll tell you what I'll do, is I'll actually do it the way you guys are doing it. So I'm going to erase what I've done so far, so let's say, for instance, um, Let's step back a little bit, okay? Because let's say I still haven't. I'll go ahead and redraw the structure so you guys can see it, okay? So I'm gonna make my brush a lot smaller, okay? So here's his half of his face. Oh, wrong color. So here's the halfway point, and the halfway point. Here's his eye line. Here's his brow line. And here's his nose. And here's his mouth. And here's his cheekbone. Okay, and then his actual eye is like this. And here's the front of his. Okay, so now what I see here is the front of his nose. Okay. You guys see that? That's his nose. This is his nose. Okay, and then the shadow creeps underneath his nose a little bit and floods to the top of his eye. All right. So here's a big shadow on his cheekbone. And then he has a, a very dark upper lid, eyelid. And he has an eye right here. And then he has the light underneath his eye. And then what happens is that shadow stops right there. It comes back a little bit. See that? So our shadow comes forward and it goes back a little bit. See that? And then he has some lines on the side of his lip, on the side of his mouth. See that? 
and we're going to shade in his upper lip. Again, I know this is very difficult drawing, so if your drawing is really ugly, that's fine. Okay? If you have a really ugly drawing, then I will give you a good grade because you tried something that's very difficult. Okay? So I'm giving you a grade based on effort, not based on execution or your ability to perform. Okay? So again, this is the shadow underneath his jaw. And then I'm just going to connect all the shadows. Here's his neck. T-shirt. And then the T-shirt connects to that shadow. So all this would be shadowed in too. Okay, and then there's a line right there and a triangle underneath it. Okay, so um, basically you can see his ear. His ear looks like a big, tall triangle. See that triangle right there? And then there's a circle inside of it. Or I would say a triangle, kind of a, a shadow inside of it, okay? See that? And then his hair. And then the shadow cuts across from the top of his nose and between his eyes. So this, if he had two eyes, the line between the two eyes would be right here. And there's a diagonal line straight from there. So here's the line, and then there's a, a diagonal line that cuts across. And then a straight up and down line from the top of his eye to the shadow. See that? And a diagonal line coming down right there. And then I filled all of this in. See that? Is it starting to look like that? A little bit? Not so much? Not too sure. Okay. And some more shadow underneath his lips. Okay, so this is how you draw comics if you've ever tried to draw comics before. Okay, so that's it for that. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how to draw the different parts of the face in detail. Okay, so for instance, if you wanted to draw a nose, right, in detail, then you need to actually bring out all those 3D shapes. Again, it's kind of like drawing transformers if you've ever drawn transformers. Okay, so this is this is the front of the nose, and then here's the nostrils on the side. Okay, so it's starting to look like. If you shadow in the, the nostrils. And then let me brush a little smaller. You can actually shade it in a little bit, just add some lines. If you have an eraser, you can erase. Okay, and then if you have light on the right side, then the shadow will be on the left side. So you can actually shade a little bit over here. I'll teach you guys the secret to shading with lines. If you shade with lines, basically the closer the lines together, the, the closer the lines are together, the darker the shadow. But all you have to do is you want to lighten the shadow and just spread those lines out a little bit. Okay, so for instance, if we want a really dark shadow underneath, we put the lines really close together. And put a lot of lines. But if you want a, a very light shadow on the front of the nose, then you just you can draw lines, but just draw very few of them and draw them really spaced out. 
And then when you zoom out, you'll see it actually makes for like a light gray shadow. See that? And just try to make sure they're all parallel and spaced out evenly. Okay. And then the front of the nose should be rounder, so I'll just go ahead and So we'll try to make that a little rounder. Okay. Uh, when it comes to shading of 3D objects, you can just draw a 3D object and we'll practice shading it. So here's a 3D box, right? Sorry, it's a little hard. For, I'm drawing on a computer, so it's a little hard for me to draw straight lines. Okay, so we put a bunch of lines underneath. Strong shadow. And then very few lines on the side. And then no lines on the front. See that? If you do a circle or a sphere, okay, we're going to draw a circle inside the circle and another circle inside the circle. What you do is you put more lines on that third circle in between the last two. Put those lines really close together, draw really strong, and then just space them out. And then just do very small light lines every now and then. Every now and then. You see that? And then what you can do is you can come back with another direction. And lighten them up a little bit. And when you zoom out, it doesn't look very good at close up, but then when you zoom out, you'll see it, look, it makes for a nice fade. See that? You can erase a little bit too. Can you? Drawing circles on computers is very difficult. Okay? But as you can see, okay? This is what we call cross hatching. So again, your drawings may not look that good close up, but when you zoom out, they might look really good. Okay? So for instance, when I'm drawing these faces, they don't look very good, but then when you look away and you look back, they actually don't look that bad. Okay? So for instance, if I want to add shading to the left side of his face, I just add a bunch of lines. See that? I guess I can put a shadow underneath this jaw. Okay, so you guys can try that. Again, like I said, if it doesn't look good, that's okay. Just as long as I see you tried, that's what I'll, then I'll give you a good grade, okay? All right, guys, so have fun, and uh, we'll see what you guys come up with.